We're back with Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the underground area alone for now. It's a little bit beyond our current capabilities and just move on. I think the closest point of interest would be right here, this ruin. So we are going to go ahead and take a look. The thing is, how I'm probably gonna play this is we will... What the shit? Okay, so I think we might just get like distracted immediately. What I, what I, what I was gonna say is how I think I'm gonna play this is I'm gonna check out that point of interest. Oh, is this that same thing? It is. <laughs> it's Dalsim. What the shit? This is like. That is a pretty cool fire, though. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to... Whoa! Okay. Horsey. A little bit difficult to hit the back. That is... I don't even know what to say. Can I just kill you? Thank you. Oh, that's such a shame. Imagine if you could drive that thing. That would be... <laughs> that would be so cool. Roll up in the tank. That looks like... That looks like something straight out of like Warhammer or... I don't know. But it definitely had the head of Dalsim from Street Fighter doing that yoga fire. Or yoga burn. Yoga flame, sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's just head to... Where do I have my other fucking marker? Because that one says 2. Probably I left it somewhere in the underground area or some shit. Whatever. There's definitely a side of grace here, so... Let's rest up. And this looks like a church where we'll be able to get an Estes upgrade. Let's see if I'm right. Church of Wows. Maybe not. Am, am I on drugs? You guys are seeing what I'm seeing, right? Okay, before we rob someone, let's talk to the turtle. <laughs> I like this game. I like this game. Alright, turtle pope. <clears throat> no, but you are making me very curious. Uh, why is there... A turtle pope. This is awesome. If it's a shame there's no covenants in this game, but if this is a covenant, I'm definitely joining. Cool. Oh yeah, I do see it. Yeah, there's the Earth Tree and there's the Academy. Listen, Turtle. He's a sorcery trainer. Yes. Creates a sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay and carrion greatsword. Awesome. And he has incantations. This is this is the greatest turtle ever. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion. Possessed of flame. Sounds like this guy has like a man crush on Radagon. Elden Lord 
was hounded from the lands between try to pay attention to the story to return to the earth tree capital becoming queen marica's second husband and king consort taking the title of second elden lord the mystery endures to this day as to why lord radigan would cast lady renard aside and moreover bro have you heard about Rhaegar and Elyria. You know, not Elyria, what's her name? Fuck, I'm getting my Game of Thrones characters mixed up. But whatever. You wish to know more of Lady Renard. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the Royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. And she's the one we're after. You are the coolest NPC. So, okay, I'm getting this. So, Godfrey was the first Elden Lord. And Marika was his husband. And then this Radagon dude married Ranala, but ditched her ass for Marika and became the second Elden Lord. Makes sense. Makes sense. I got I got the fam listen. Vadi ain't got nothing on me. Gold sewing needle. Oh. This is gonna allow me to customize my shit. Appears so. Excellent. Well this was a very, very useful stop. If I do say so myself. Um Let's see if we can what like let's see if we can do anything with the garments. Still nothing. Weird. Weird that you can't do anything with the one I have on. Yeah, let's head to the Erd tree next, and then I'm sort of not hesitant, but I don't think I'm gonna explore much further than the Earth tree itself. Because we have obviously the game is very much pushing us towards this. Uh and we need to Get back on the main quest, I think. I, By the way, I didn't mention this, but I did read up on these like great runes and rune arcs and everything. Turns out I didn't waste anything. What happens is you have a great rune equipped uh, and you use a rune arc and then the effects stay until you die. So that's why I got deleveled back because uh, when you die, you lose the effects of the great rune. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, that's why I was sort of weirded out. And I didn't die for quite a bit. This is... This is, this is totally one of the paintings. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. This is totally it. Almost. Almost. Like, it has the view of the academy, except the earth tree is... So it's probably from, like, somewhere over there. I think that's the one. Ah, oh, that's still so far away, though. Whatever. So we may have hit... A bit of a dead end here. I thought there was a way off of this cliff. And there's skellies here. I did talk about this, that... Oh, maybe you just have to go around. Never mind. Old Palace Ruins. Hey, I didn't even... Uh oh Okay, no, no, we're still good. Like, the good thing is you can immediately tell... Uh, when you're in an area where you're not supposed to be. Like, what the hell is shooting at me? Like, clearly, you know, when I was in the underground, like, that church area... What was it? Ul Palace or whatever? Like, that was so clearly somewhere I wasn't meant to be. Uh, what the? It's probably one of these guys. God, horse, horse combat is kind of... Horse combat is kind of jank. There is something blasting at me. You are. Okay. I'm 
don't even know where the fuck I was going originally. Oh yeah, the the earth tree, the minor earth tree. This ain't the best place to be, I'm gonna be honest. First of all, this place is full of enemies. Second of all, I'm not sure we're meant to be here. Cool. I'm just gonna take a look because I've completely lost track of where my marker is. I think we should be able to make it up here on the side. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, no, 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 we're not gonna. That that was a giant bear, and somehow I very much doubt fighting a giant bear would be the smartest idea right about now. So we're not gonna do it. We don't have to. Hey there, dude. Oh shit. Do you seriously have invisible enemies? Hold on. Oh, he tried fucking... I can do that. Probably not against this weapon. Quite a bit of tracking on that. This dragonfly needs to get the hell out of here. Just like fucking my shit up. Like really badly. Like my lock on too. Bad idea. Oh, I tried parrying. If I'd gotten that parry, that would have been godlike. No. <laughs> I'm so gonna get this parry. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes! Told you. It only takes me a good few tries and that didn't nearly deal as much damage as I was thinking. Thank you, I got the fucking dragonfly. Hey, that's not fair. Eat shit. What is that status it's applying to me? It looks like the arcane symbol from... Um, Bloodborne. Bellum Highway. Nice. Uh, this... Oh, I'm like totally... <laughs> totally off track. Black Knife Catacombs. This doesn't sound too safe. So... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna really try going to the Earth Tree. The Minor Earth Tree. Well, we can always warp back here. I think we're back on track. Uh, there's another one of those things and actually one of the things that I didn't talk about and we most likely need to go back to the other one is I did buy a scroll from one of the merchants which is supposed to like explain how to deactivate these things apparently you do have to attack their legs uh, but again I've not tried it and I assume that this one oh shit there's two of them There's two of them here. I want to try, like, the first one. But, yeah, apparently you've got to attack their legs. Alright, we're nearly there. And I still don't know what the fuck you do with these things. I assume there's, like, some treasure inside. Which is always appreciated. That didn't exactly turn out too well. I do, you know, I do really appreciate this game uh, for having a pretty wide variety of enemies. 
the thing is that previous Souls games, you know, enemies generally tended to be either like beasts, you know, like animal types or knights. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> it's like the robot chicken from Rayman. You guys know what I'm talking about if you watch my Rayman 2 playthrough, which happened. Uh, there is a giant robot chicken in the penultimate level. I think that, yeah, the penultimate level. Minor tree. It looks like all of the minor trees have that boss. Before we go do that boss, we need to clear out these bosses. I love this spell so much, like, this is so incredibly useful. Okay, I'm a good, I'm, yeah, I'm about to get fucked up. There is a Marika statue here, luckily. It looks like I'm probably gonna need it. Actually, that boss, what is it called, Earth Tree Guardian or something, they weren't too difficult. Job on axe, nice. I got their weapon. Alright. Let's do this. Although the thing is, I still don't really have a clue what exactly is the point of these minor earth trees. Maybe they do something later on in the game because, well, the first one I went to didn't seem to do jack shit. Come on! How did that not count as a critical? Or maybe you can't critical them. God, you are piss easy. Oh, I shouldn't have said. Should have just shut up. So I'm gonna say they hit hard. Oh, that jump. Get on my level in horse combat. You ain't got nothing on me. Easy. Easy, easy. How many souls does that give? 5,800. Magic Shrouding Cracked Tear, is that? That's a key item. Lightning Shroud, okay. Interesting. Thanks, game. Uh, much appreciated. Yeah, I kind of ran around here uh, and I couldn't find anything else. Maybe I'm just an idiot. But, hmm, not sure. Okay, so I came back to the Weeping Peninsula because this whole thing with the uh, the Turtle Church or the Shadow of the Colossus Church reminded me that I should check this out. This has been bugging me. Uh, let me just show you the note. God, I'm terrible at navigating the inventory. There it is. This is it. Note sold by the Nomadic Merchant. To stop the mausoleum stride, you'll need to clean up around its feet first. So I came back to this one because, to me, this seems to be sort of the first official one you're meant to encounter. Uh, so we might as well take a look. And this one isn't jumping around like crazy. So... Yeah, let's have a look. Because I did, it, did manage to attack it. Yeah. I think this is what you have to do. Yeah, I was just gonna say, just watch out not to get fucking stomped on. It doesn't, it really doesn't do barely any damage. 
This thing is so cool. This is such a like badass design. Again, very Shadow of the Colossus inspired, which I'm happy about because I absolutely fucking love Shadow of the Colossus. So don't mind if I do. Okay, we got two. Is it? Am I doing it? It's dipping over. Yes. Cool. Alright. What the hell do you have inside? Assuming like some weapon or item or something? that chests? No. Examine remains. With the Remembrance Duplication menu, you can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. This includes remembrances from which you've already drawn out power. Duplication can only be... Pr Fuck. That's really cool. So do I now have the Godric thing again? I do! That's so cool. Okay, that is actually mega, mega useful because what that allows you to do is get both of the weapons from a boss, like a boss soul, uh, in one playthrough. That's super awesome. Because, you know, one of the annoying things was always that... Well, of course, outside of Dark Souls 2 and the... Uh, the bonfire aesthetic mechanic is that you always had to choose and you know there might be a boss soul where both of the things are useful like why should you have to wait that is really cool and I assume that you can use it again because the Godric thing gave like 20k souls or something so if I use it again shit that's useful shit that's very very useful and there's a ton of these things, but it did say that you can only do it once per remembrance. So there's, I think, four of these lords. Yeah, I think so. So we can do it for like four times, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so I came back to the round table hold here and I used up quite a lot of my uh, spare runes because I do have a shit ton of runes and the basic idea is that I'll keep a couple around for like emergencies but most of the time you can just use them up so yeah I don't know why I came back to the round table hold I wanted to take a look around but there's nothing interesting here I'm sort of off screen solving the quest line for the chick with the red hair oh hello there and it looks like we've made progress Excellent. Don't know what that do, but it sounds good. Prentice. Cool. She's useful. With the spirit tuning menu, you can spend runes and grave glove words to strengthen the spirits you summon from... Oh, that's cool. She can upgrade... I have quite a lot of these. Yeah, I've been picking these up. Uh, so which one of these is the most useful? Definitely the wolves. Yeah, let's get the wolves upgraded. And... I don't know, bro. The Godric soldiers are pretty good too. Yeah, I'm gonna. Un yeah, the wolves. Wolves are mega useful. So, yeah, that's what. That's what I'm gonna do. I do know. You know. Listen again. I don't stay completely. Like, off of Elden Ring news. I do know about the mimic tier. Apparently, there's a, a spirit thing called the mimic tier, which completely mimics your character. 
as they are currently. And it apparently was OP as shit, and it was just recently nerfed. I would still like to very much get that, because it still sounds useful. Just, you know, just because something is OP, and then becomes a little bit less OP. Like, I remember I heard about that stomp attack, uh, which was basically broken. Like, that was almost borderline glitched. The one that did, like, this crystal magic thing, used in all the speedruns. Uh, yeah, like, that type of shit, I'm okay with them nerfing. All right, I'm gonna advance the main quest a little bit here. I think it's only appropriate. I sort of had an idea. Listen, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Unity, so all about them backstabs. Look at these things. What the hell are you guys? <laughs> Man, some of the enemies are goofy. But again, I, I really do like the enemy design in this game. I As I mentioned, finally we have something other than like monsters and big-ass knights. Or like humanoids. I do like me some crab. As previously stated. The atmosphere here is so good. Okay, so this is here somewhere. I assume that looks like... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's this dude. Yeah, he did disappear, didn't he? All right, calm down. Swear to deliver the message. They laid hands of the tale of how I. Okay, well, they killed your servant. And you want revenge? I support that. What up, turtles? They are turtles, aren't they? Well, these things are too cute to kill. Like, holy shit. Look at them. <laughs> I feel bad. If only they weren't trying to kill me as well. Yeah, this is a horse area though. What up? Oh wait, hold on. I thought that was marking the... never mind. But I'm sure that meeting spot is... Oh, fuck. It's here somewhere. Let me just check that map. Yeah, it's like on an island. Is that it? No, it's... That one, isn't it? It's totally that one. Alright then, let's get a move on. Hopefully this lake doesn't turn... Uh, sort of bottomless. Eventually. If I just end up falling in, I'll be very pissed. Oh no. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. Maybe now I'm strong enough to take on a Dragon. Oh, this is stupid because. There hasn't been a. There hasn't been a checkpoint in quite a bit. I mean, he's taking damage. Yeah, just, I was gonna say, be careful of a tail attack. 
I know dragon fights in From Software games. I was gonna say. Yeah. I fucking knew something like that was gonna happen too. I was just about to say that some big ass monster or... Yeah, I knew something was gonna pop up. Like, no way it wouldn't. Ah, shit, I'm far away. Actually, it's probably easier to just go here. So I think we learned a very important lesson. Um, even with the double jump, you cannot survive falls that would kill you. Shit. Well, that didn't look like it would kill me. <sighs> That's bad. I don't know how many runes I had on my corpse, but it wasn't... It wasn't two, that's for sure. Shit. Well, my mistake, I guess. Let's just get to the actual marker. I need to avoid the dragon, too. So maybe if... Like, like this is a point of interest, so... Maybe there is a checkpoint here somewhere that I can hit up. And then if I... Not that I'm gonna try the, the, the dragon, because clearly, like, he's very strong. But, you know, something else kills me. It would be nice to have a backup. You guys are goofy as hell. You deal a lot of damage. Poison plants are not helping. Yeah, we got this though. Is that a ghost? I think that's a ghost. I swear to... Oh no, it was one of these. The bluish hue of these plants. It looked like someone was like sitting there. I'm just blind. Man, am I gonna be disappointed if there is no... Grace point here. Oh, there we go. See? I knew it. You just have to be patient. Wish I'd found this before I died and all that, but hey. You can't you can't have everything, right? Yeah, that that has to be it, right? The goddamn dra oh please don't tell me I have to fight the dragon. Hmm. Ooh, is that it? Oh no, that's one of okay. Keep thinking that's an NPC. Very, very interesting. Jesus, if this is not it, I'm so screwed. Oh, we might have something here. Oh, do I have? This seems interesting. Ah, oh, come on. I'm I'm scared of one thing, uh, and one thing only. Like, what if you have to fight this dragon to get into the academy? Like, if that's the case, we're gonna be in trouble. Unless... Kukri? Dragon something? Yes! No, you don't have to fight him. He's just guarding it. And... Whoa. He's pretty strong. Listen, because I'm persistent, I'm gonna try this. 
I mean, of course, we could just do the the boring way. The boring way being, I just bait out the breath attack. But who would want that? The particle effects, I do gotta command them on it. They're very good looking. Oh, you can do shit like that. Very fancy dragon. He just has a lot of HP. And of course these mosquitoes coming in to disturb the peace aren't helping. Dragonflies or whatever. This is straight up, this is the undead dragon from Game of Thrones. Except better because this dragon actually does something. Instead of just crumbling, you know. Spoilers. Listen, Game of Thrones ended a long time ago. You've lost the privilege of not getting spoiled. Actually, I could do this. This doesn't seem that impossible. It's just gonna take fucking forever. It ain't exactly the most, um... Riveting of fights. Yeah, okay. Don't get caught by that breath attack. Holy shit. Yeah. he's. I think he's just slightly out of my level range. Uh, if I had, like, just the ability to survive one breath attack, we'd be Gucci. But I don't, so... What can you do? Alright. Is this the main gate? I think this is the main gate. Let's take a look. Cool. Do we got a new dungeon? We have a new dungeon. Main dungeon too. Talk about progress. Lyurnia of the lakes. I am looking forward to exploring a new main dungeon. We've sort of been relegated to side stuff for a little bit. I assume you can't pass through there. Mm, you can. Well. Oh, okay, you so you that's the other side. Bellum Highway and then there's one of these crones here. And a side of grace, which, like I always say, we might as well hit up. What do you have to say? Cool hat. Am I being roasted? Even the half presence that wish to be whole before the unmoving, unfeeling grand lift ahead. Or are you planning to throw yourself to the waters? To find the coward's passage through the Okay, this sort of made sense, I'm assuming uh, there's a lift ahead and that shit ain't gonna move because we don't have whatever is needed for us to get it to move. Although, here's the real thing, what I'm gonna start doing here as I fight this dude is slowly wrap up this episode of Elden Ring. I think what we're gonna do in the next part is explore the academy. This seems like a pretty 
Looks like the enemies seem pretty advanced. I feel so bad for killing their horses all, always, but I don't feel like shit for getting a dope parry. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I will wrap up this episode here and then I think we'll be able to sort of get started on the academy in the next episode and we'll see what we can do there. Uh, I'm probably also gonna explore this catacombs or dungeon or whatever. If there's an anything interesting, I'll record it and report in just to get some upgrade materials and stuff like that. Not even upgrade materials, just runes, basically. Yeah, I'll end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Take care, peace out, and goodbye.